Vice President Mike Pence traveled to the U.S.-Mexico border on Friday to witness conditions at two migrant detention centers, one housing families and another housing single adults. Reporters, Senate Republicans, and Acting Homeland Security Secretary Kevin McLeanan also toured the facilities. There was a stark difference between the two detention centers. In the single adult building, there were around 400 men crammed into cells, according to the Washington Post. Journalists reported that migrant men screamed at them, saying they'd been held there for at least 40 days without being allowed to shower or brush their teeth. The patrol agent in charge disputed those claims. Pence said he wasn't surprised to see a system that was overwhelmed. Last month alone, nearly 100,000 people coming across our border. Individuals being apprehended, families that are presenting, making an asylum claim, and some that aren't. But what you saw today firsthand was the overcrowding that we knew that we would see. Meanwhile, the family detention center had more room and was air conditioned. Migrants rested on cots, watched movies, and ate snacks. Are they taking good care of you here? Pence said after his tour, quote, every family I spoke to said they were being well cared for, and that's different than some of the harsh rhetoric we hear from Capitol Hill. A group of congressional Democrats will tour facilities on Saturday. Democratic Senator Maisie Hirono told CNN she was skeptical of conditions they'd seen on the tour. She said she knows what conditions are like from recent reports, and quote, when any of us visit, they will make sure that they see what they want us to see, and that's not real.